Have you ever dropped anything? If so, what happened when it hit the ground? Did it bounce like this? Or did it shatter into a million pieces like this? <gasps> Have you ever bent a small piece of metal, like a paperclip? If you only bend it a small amount, you may notice that it springs back to its original shape. But what happens when I bend it too far? What do you think would happen if I bent this back and forth a hundred times? Do you suppose you could bend a piece of plastic like this? What about a piece of chalk? Why do materials behave the way they do? To find out, we're going to need to learn a little bit about how they're put together. The millions of atoms and molecules that make up a material, like a metal, a ceramic, or a polymer, are stuck together differently. And the ways that they're bonded, and the shapes they form, influence how that material behaves, and ultimately, how it fails. Now, in this demonstration, we're going to learn about elasticity and plasticity. We're going to learn about ductile and brittle behavior. We're also going to learn about fatigue and fracture toughness. We will also examine a fractured object and see if we can piece together the story of how it broke based on the clues left behind. It's a mysterious dark art known as fractography. Now some of these words may not mean anything to you yet, and that's okay. We're going to go through all of this together. We're going to get our hands dirty, we're going to break stuff, and hopefully we're going to learn something. So get ready, get your safety glasses, and let's explore how things break. <laughs> 